All right, so in school, after you, after you figure that they ain't been teaching you what they supposed to teach you at the uh, the group home, and you're in a regular school, are you rebelling? Are you ever suspended from school? Yeah, are you yeah, yeah. My first day, I got in a fight. For what? Because a dude called my my sister, well, my cousin, but he called her ugly. He called her an ugly bitch. Yeah. And I turned around and said, don't call her out her name. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, what your little skinny ass supposed to do? I said, well, you call out her name again. I'm going to show you yeah. what my little skinny ass going to do. So he said, call her again. I took the test board and slapped shit out of him with it. Foul. Knocked his ass out of his chair. It went crazy. So what we got is you being the smallest, smart, fast, and I don't know if you understand, but it was a lot of jealousy that took place for whatever reason. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then this caused you to get your arm fucked up, your jaw broke, fucked up. So now, but the whole time, this thing made you into a motherfucker that, okay, if you really want to get with the shits, we can get with the shits. Right, right, yeah. And so now you'll pop off. Yeah, like, but I mean, I rather, like, I'm still a self to, like, I rather be by myself, stay to myself. I ain't with that, but if you push, if you get me there. Yeah. It, we going only platinum. God can stop. Me. Yeah, we going platinum. Yeah. Yeah. Zero to death row real quick. And, and I can tell that you care about the people that you fuck with. Like, oh, yeah. You ain't, we ain't going for it, period. Yeah, I, do. I don't care. They, 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 somebody getting smart with you, you quiet. I don't know what the fuck they quiet for, but I'm going to speak up. Because <laughs> I'm going to you know, ain't no holes over here. Ain't none of that. Simple in that. Period. Simple. But, okay, so do you have control of this? Or I, is it just I something? I do. Now, I used to do. Because, like I said, I went through anger management as well. Yeah. Cause I, everything, cause just because of what I, you know, you did, yeah, so endure. I was a, a little angry little motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But I came to control it a lot better. Like I know what to entertain and what not to entertain. Yeah. You know what I mean? So while you doing this and you figuring yourself out where your place in the world, do you ever get handcuffed? You ever <laughs> go to jail like juvenile? Uh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I got put on uh, probation. For what? For running away from home and beat up like this girl, my first girlfriend. You beat up your first girlfriend? I tried to kill her. How old was you? Probably about 12. <laughs> so, I threw a cocktail at her door. <laughs> we gonna run out of footage on this motherfucker. Hold <laughs> so hold on. So you 12 years old. Is this your first relationship? This is my first, my first relationship. And... How did you and your girlfriend meet? She was my best friend. Do you remember her name? Or if Abby, you don't want to see Abby it. Hill. I remember that bitch. Abby Renee Hill. That's my name. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch take me so, back right there. So I'm saying, have you been, before this relationship, did you, was you even entertaining a boyfriend or that one needed? Hell no. Nah. Like, I knew, like, my partner, he liked me, but that nigga knew it wasn't nothing like that. Yeah. Yeah, so but like, it don't sound like you're dressing like no girl no more. Oh no, I, I had individuals in my head and everything. Hey, who in your head? Individuals, you know, like the little braids. Oh, them motherfuckers are expensive. My child didn't have some of them. <laughs> he told they were expensive. Well, they they were free expensive. for me. Because oh. my folks didn't did hair in the family. So. so so you were still on the girly shit. Yeah. Was she on the girly just, shit too? Yeah, she was a girly girl. But oh. I was just tough. Like I was a tomboy. Yeah, too. yeah. And you weren't attracted to dudes at all, or it was just no, I mean, I like the boys was cute, but I wouldn't have preferred it because of I knew yeah. what I had to experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, y'all meet, y'all best friends, mm -hmm. and y'all in a relationship. But at 12 years old, what kind of relationship are you? Is this a real relationship? I mean, I, it was real enough for me. Yeah. Because when she thought she didn't want to be with me no more, I, I wanted to hurt her. How long was y'all together for? Uh, Before we did it, probably like, <laughs> probably like three months. Cause first of all, she never, she wasn't even experienced. She, I wasn't experienced with girls. Yeah. Either. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think like the most I did was like finger bitch. Yeah. And that fucked my head. Up. <laughs> <laughs> when the bitch grabbed my head and went down and everything, and I was like, I was in there thinking like, oh my god. <laughs> Like fucking squash them, dude. Oh, right. What is going on? Excuse me. Excuse. I got on me. I was like, yo, these are cantaloupes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Okay, so, so what? What causes her to say that she don't want to be with you no more? Though? Um, because I think her mom started questioning her. 
because I'm on it, she like, girl, I used to go to her house all the time. I'm on yeah. whose friend, this friend. And, you know, one day she came there, I think we was wrestling or something, I was on top of her. So I guess her mom might have asked her, like, oh, do that girl like you? So mm-hmm. the next day she ended up writing me a little note, like, oh, we can't be this. I don't want to be with you. I'm not gay no more. So like, what? Bitch, ain't no today you gay, tomorrow you ain't. That's not how it's going to go down. So I was very, very upset. Like, it broke. Like, I, I missed school for, like, a week because I was, like, I was truly heartbroken. Like, I wrote that bitch name all on my wall. It was like, I'm going to kill you. Like, my mom couldn't even speak to me. And, and how do we get to the point where you start to retaliate? Because she's, like, for one, the bitch moved classes. She started getting, she told her mom she wanted to be in another class. Oh, she didn't went. She went all the way left. Man, home. yes. So then it went from her being in a different class to her being in another school. And oh, I'm she got like, transferred. Yeah, yeah. Her mom transferred her. So we, we ended up getting a fight in school. Hold on. You and the girl? Heck yeah. This is when I had individuals because everybody was like, oh, Jay, yeah, you got beat up because I got my braids all through the school. Yeah. We in the cafeteria, you know, of course I got individuals. So every hall I walked down. This is a brain laying on the floor. <laughs> so yeah. I, exactly <laughs> <laughs> I ain't get no point. I know I'd be your ass. So, you know, she transferred to school. When she did that, she still stayed near me, though. Yeah. You know, right? While I went to practice at for track. So, my college part. Um, Hold on, you college. ran track, folks? Uh huh. So, you was in school, so your grades had to have been on point to one degree because you was playing sports. Yeah, so I was, I mean, I was straight in school. I, once I found out that I had to be. At least a C plus in yeah. order to play any kind of sport. Of course, I kept it up. Okay, so what happened after the fight? After the fight, um, her parents came. They pressed charges. Mm-hmm. My folks came, and they didn't. My folks was like, "Well, Tudor, did you win?" As my dad used to call me Tudor. Yeah. Tudor, did you win? I'm like, man, you know I won. I beat the hell out of them. So, uh, we, um, uh, my dad wanted to press charges because once they. The school officer put us in, he put me in handcuffs and mm-hmm. not her. Mm-hmm. So we're literally in his office. He won't get something to walk out. Now, I'm, this bitch is very upset right now. Yeah, and you're in handcuffs. And I stop him like, yo, hello, where you going? You going to take these cuffs out before you yeah. try to walk up out of here with yeah. this bitch loose? Yeah. He was like, oh, she's not going to do anything. I was like, bro, come on. <laughs> like, you set me up. <laughs> like, that serious, like, come on. I'm knowing what's going to go down. Yeah. Man, soon he could have. Cut the rugs like she went off. Man, she went straight in my shit, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. I let her get. I couldn't do that, but like, uh, do you remember his name? Um, uh, uh-uh. uh. But he was still. He's still an officer at uh, what that school is over there by Fulton. Uh, fuck, it's a high school though. Okay. Um. So after you get a, you go to jail that day. Yeah, well, they they take you uh huh to uh um, well metro. Damn, you'd have been to metro. Yeah. Okay, so is this where you get put on probation? Then yeah. Or? Okay. So yeah, I got put on um the little ankle monitor thing. Okay. So they was telling me I couldn't leave the house, couldn't do this and that. So, so you couldn't come back to school. Yeah, I didn't go to school. I didn't go to school after that day for probably, probably like a week. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I was also in um what you call it um. A small class settings for behavior yeah, yeah, aids, yeah. you yeah. know what I'm saying, stuff like that. So they had to figure out what was they, where they gonna put me. Yeah. So that's basically what it was. So when I went back, um, I told my mom, and I was like, I'm not going to school. This big ass thing around my hand. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Man. Yeah. Especially when I did nothing like that. So, um, the defense for caseworker they started coming up to my school and stuff, which I'm not with that because. Yeah. Like, didn't nobody know that I was a defect. So kids start finding out about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They start yeah, picking yeah. on me about that. Oh, you a foster kid. You ain't got no parents. You ain't got nobody to love you. Yeah. And I'm just like, I will blow this fucking school up. Y'all better shut the fuck up. So yeah. the prince was like, you can't make accusations like that. I was like, I will blow this school up. Like, mm-hmm. tell these kids to leave me alone because I don't even talk to nobody. Yeah. But that went on for a while. Um, so I started running away from home. My mom took me to court, and I told the judge, the judge like, Miss Reeves, what do you feel like you need? Mm-hmm. And I was like, I just want to be back in custody. I said, I'd rather go back in custody. So you didn't even want to be at the house no, no. more? Because my she didn't let me do anything. I I, I like the basketball. So yeah. that that was my piece. 
Yeah. Like, let me just shoot out, you know what I'm saying, get my brain back right. You yeah. feel me? And I, she never wanted me to go outside. Like, my sister would come home, go outside her boyfriend's house. Yeah. And I would have to be in the house. But she was room. a little older than you, too, though. Yeah, she was a lot older than me. But I didn't care. Sure, let me hear every time he walk in, the thing go up. Every time. Uh, okay, so I'm going to stop right here.